so that wasn't so that wasn't a great example of a cold start, but the cold start is back, as you guys already know. All right, that's enough cardio for one day. Forgot my phone. All right, this bus is gonna ruin my vibe over here, but we're gonna try to do a little. So here's one thing I never understood is when people do vanity plates like this, RR0419, like what the heck does that mean? Rest and relax on uh, April of 19? Like obviously, most likely not. And here's a bro on his freaking bike thinking that uh, that's a good idea. And now we're waiting in traffic. So the M3 is a great waiting in traffic car. That was a good one, Porsche. What's up? Right. Try the best. Try our best here. We're gonna press the M button. So we're gonna do an acceleration run onto the highway with our blinker and we're gonna do the yellow arrow action here. No one's gonna cut me off. So what's up peeps? I know I never really told you what the heck this video is about. Executive summary is that I got hooked. And I got hooked on taking pictures of my car with a DSLR, my buddy Mike, uh, who I can put his Instagram on the screen. He has uh, an E90 M3. He has a Canon 80D. Taking pictures with that camera versus even iPhone pictures. I mean, as a lot of you guys know, a lot of you guys that follow my channel, you're very observant, just like me. And when you take a picture with a camera like that a few times, it really gets you hooked. I had taken some or had some taken professionally in the past, and it was great. Um, but it was just such a long time period and I was very busy and I was trying to focus on videos But now I think it's time to step my Instagram game up and really what I instead of the Instagram game That's where I post like my best pictures and I used to be into the whole Post certain times of the day post this tag this do this do the recipe Which is fine. I grew my account really well um, But the problem is is that I got burnt out and I wasn't posting pictures I truly loved that much. And I wasn't really getting a lot out of it. Where if I do more videos, I usually get more out of them. You know, I get comments, I get people asking questions, I get people saying, more Jeep videos, or more M3 videos, or you should do a video on that. And as annoying as it can be sometimes when everyone's like, you should be, do a video on this, you should do a video on that. You know, it's very nice for sort of the whole uh, back and forth, you know, the value add I think is still there for the videos where with Instagram to be honest with you guys It's sort of just tapered off. I didn't really I wasn't making any money and the time I spent and the stresses I had over it was just not worth it and it's not just from a monetary standpoint It's just from kind of in general. So today I asked my friend Mike today is so nice right now The temp says 84. I don't know how true that is. It's definitely around 80. I don't have the I should put the AC on for the first time in like a year. Essentially, I'm gonna grab my buddy's Mike's ADD and try to see what I can do on my own. Um, ideally, I would have a photographer show me how to do it. I'm probably gonna do a lot of pictures in auto mode, uh, but I know a bunch of people that know how to take pictures that I usually bug all the freaking time uh, about learning and all that good stuff. I think that dude just honked at me. I guess he liked it. Curly, dude. Is it? Yeah. You should dilute it a little, or you just did it, probably. I just did it. Okay. I did put two coats on it. I mean, it's drying. Yeah, I deleted it a little because it gets too shiny. Did you put your rears on? No. No, no, no. I'm going to do it when I get the wheels refinished. Burn these counties off. Yeah. They don't have much life left anyway, so. 
It lasted a year. I mean... You're going to have to teach everyone how to use this. And if you say anything wrong, they're going to call you out. It's an 80D. Okay. Google it. Last time I said it was a 70D, so... That's all right. Starting off strong. Google it. Shoot. Auto, well, show me auto mode first, because I'm going to shoot, just to be safe, a few, a bunch in auto mode. Because I at least want to get some shots that are decent. Well, here, why don't you just try, try some test shots out? I could. Well, why don't you show me a couple other things first? Like, auto mode is... Oh, the A. Okay, cool. That's yep, easy. Yeah, auto mode, and then program mode. Okay. It's the one I usually shoot in. All right. That's, that's like, not I, raw, though, right? Yeah, it's raw. It is raw? So you can change the raw by uh, image quality. Whoops, sorry. Image quality, and then you just put raw on. Should I do that? I mean, I have space. Raw plus, yeah. I mean, it's... Okay. You'll be fine. Yeah, if you want to shoot video, you can shoot nah. video. No, don't do that, because everyone's going to say how good the video looks. I'm going to have to buy a freaking ADD then. I don't want to do that. I just dumped um, money on a computer, so. So yeah. All right, guys, I got the goods. What we're first gonna do is um, turn it on. And I'm gonna start off by taking these in auto mode that the camera does all the work. I know that that is definitely a fact. It's pretty much like dummy mode where it's just gonna automatically select the most efficient um, settings. And I think that that's probably the best choice for a few of these shots. And then I'm gonna go into P mode if you know anything about the Canon. Um, that is sort of like, it sounds like it's sort of a semi-automatic mode where it lets you pick like ISO and shutter speed, but it does everything else. I think those are the two things you normally pick in P mode. So I'm gonna try to get some shots and see if I can do it. Change of scenery, the, the biggest pain in the ass is that the sun is right to my back, so it's good for pics, but unfortunately the shadows suck ass. Alright guys, if you want to see me squat down like a hundred times in a row, that was your chance. I think so far so good guys. I, I did a few different types of angles and shots and I played around with it. So I would ask you what you think, but I'm not sure if you're going to see that. Definitely go follow me on the gram if you want to see these shots along with every other, really every other shot that I get that I really like because as I was saying, Instagram to me now more than ever is about those quality shots and about the shots that I just truly love. Oh yeah, you see that? That is what I need. I need something different. Kayak launch area. Well, that works. So hit me. So hit me. Hit me. What a great night to be all by yourself. And that really sucks. Actually, oh Jesus Christ, man. God damn it. Do it for the gram, do it for the gram. We're actually gonna take a shot right here. Sometimes those shots are literally the best ones. The unexpected, unplanned. All right, so there's probably not a remedy for this, but maybe you photographers can tell me, you know what I'm gonna say is my darn shadow is right here. So unless we Photoshop or take a picture of the front of the car facing the sun, there's no way to really remedy this unless we uh, stand in a different area. So that's been the biggest pain in the ass because the sun is very low right now. So if it's very high, obviously that makes it a little easier. I love these side shots. Side shot Saturday, side shot Sunday. People backing in to freaking watch me do this, but whoops. Let's see if we can give you guys an idea of what I'm working with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what this freaking person is doing in this Hyundai. I don't know if they're waiting for someone, they're creeping on me, or just being weird, but they're killing my vibe. It's time to move on. So I'm gonna turn this bad boy off, put it in the car. Boop. 
So what do you guys think? Am I a pro photographer yet or just still a big noob that doesn't know what he's talking about? I think the latter is probably true. And I forgot to mention, this is actually uh, repping Troy Sowers, the McDonald's shirt, which I think is freaking hilarious. So I had to buy one and it's a black shirt. I love black shirts and uh, it's, a, it's a dude I support. So go check Troy out if you want one of these shirts, if you're asking. I don't know if some people noticed or not, but just admiring the M3, man, this white really shows off the body lines. Perfect, I mean, I've been, I drove it a few days, so what the hell? And that's bird shit, so that's pretty sweet. I know there's a few imperfections, like the exhaust tips need a little detail. The back has a little, you know, some little bit of exhaust and a few other things. All in all, I think that today was a pretty successful shoot all by myself, wasn't paying anyone. I was just kind of teaching myself and getting used to it. And here comes this goddamn Hyundai again. Like what, you creeping on me, bro? We're gonna get in. They just like, they parked earlier and then they just like stayed like 100 feet away. So I don't know if they're just bored or what, but it's time to go, bro. Freaking creep. Hey buddy. You guys are wondering, shifter, amazing. Definitely worth the few hours of effort. It looks great. It works even better than it looks. It's just perfect, guys. I need to put a little leather uh, conditioner on here and protectant just to make it, you know, a little bit more, you know, move around a little bit easier. But it looks freaking great, guys. This fucking Hyundai. You're killing my five, bro. You're killing my vibe. Stop being a creep. Or like stop being weird. Don't stare. People like that, that just really... So what do you guys think? Good job, yay, nay. Um, I played it safe today. I wanted to get a lot of good shots that I liked. They aren't gonna be probably to their maximum capacity because I'm not using all the manual stuff that I could be using, but that'll come with time as you guys, you know, you can probably understand that. Straight wheels are fine um, depending on the picture, but you definitely don't want the wheel to be facing the camera or the way that you're taking the picture. So if anything, you want it facing away so then you see more of the actual wheel itself as opposed to tire. Um, so that's the only thing is it kind of prohibits you from taking from one angle and then you have to turn the wheel and if you have the car on and off and you're doing all these things It actually takes a long time So I know the guys that are out there that actually take pictures I know a bunch of you probably already taken a bunch of pictures of my car, you know I mean you guys already know all that stuff. So I'm just really relaying stuff that I'm learning um, and getting text messages with Get you out. <laughs> so I just so I just sent a video of the pictures I said the video makes it look really white, so it looks worse. Boy, we need to get you out of autofocus. I'm sorry, I don't know how to use this yet. Oh boy, here comes the haters. Here comes the freaking haters. Yep, low battery, sweet. Speaking of autofocus, what the hell? I will leave a description to the Canon I was using, as well as this camera that I record all my videos on. Uh, let, me, let me know what you guys think, because I already asked you like a thousand times. And I'll see you guys next time.